I guess McCloskey's in around. Well, where'd you be? What time is it? Uh, he's probably making life miserable for some rookie. Oh, boy, you know, this reminds me of when I was a kid at school. I was summoned to go see the principal. I was scared to death of him. <laughs> That's funny, because where I went to school was the other way around. Yeah, well, they grow kids tougher in New York. Too tough. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I'll tell you what, walking down the hall was like a lesson in hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was great. Just great. You must miss New York. Do you miss being a cop there? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, I, I really love my life here. But every now and then, I I just wish I could get that old excitement back, you know? There's nothing like the thrill of very hot New York City assignment. Yeah? Well, prepare to be thrilled, Andropolis. I've got a case for you, too, that's as hot as they come. And it's top secret. You are the most incredibly stupid cheapskate I have ever known in my entire life. You try to save us a couple of lousy dollars on a couple of lousy bottles of booze, and look what happens. We're up to our neck in mobsters and junior G-men. Oh, I wish I could fire you, but I can't. It's not good enough. I wish I could shoot you. Diana, how many times do I have to tell you that I'm sorry? You can't count that high. Well, bickering isn't going to do us any good. Bickering? This isn't bickering, Cal. This is rampant hysteria. Any second now, some bloodthirsty gangster type is going to come waltzing on the board of the yacht, and we have got to convince him to join our company. Our company? It's my company, Cal. How could you do this to me? Diana, I made a terrible mistake. I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you, I swear. How? I have sacrificed everything for this place. Well, don't push the panic button. It's going to be... It's going to be okay. In fact, if we can pull this off, we, we may even make some money out of this deal. Well, what if we can't pull it off, Cal? What if we are not convincing enough this afternoon? What if this gangster person doesn't believe us? Then what? I'll tell you then what. Diana's grand opening is going to be another Valentine's Day massacre. Hello? It's him. As the world turns, this portion brought to you today by... Always maxi pads in thin maxis, minis, and panty liners, too. And by New Era Plus with more proteins to clean more stains. It just burns. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. You better be hurt. No, the, the bullet oh. just grazed the temple. You're very lucky, senor. Oh, lucky. Look, yeah. lucky. It was a close call. Oh. Here. Did you help me? Please, sit up. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I sent you into the game oh. before, senor, but this country is going crazy <laughs> now. They, 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 they're starting firing on everywhere now. Has the mission been safe? They haven't attacked it yet, Not have yet. They? At any time now. Every day I get up in the morning and I say this is going to be the day they're going to attack us. I'm sorry, senor. I'm Patrick, sorry. Patrick, please. I, 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 I didn't let you... I just want one thing. Would you please? Have you ever heard of Sierra Esteban? We, we, we must, we must clean your, your, your wound. Come with me, sir. Hello, Mr. Haskell. You're Mr. Randolph? Yes, sir. I've been expecting your call, sir. Good. I understand we have some business to discuss. Yeah, I understand that you have some gambling equipment for rent, uh, for charitable functions. That's right. What do you need? Oh, well, uh, wheels, tables, that sort of thing. We have it all. Well, would you like me to give you a rundown of what we need? Why don't you do that uh, when I stop by this afternoon? All right. Um, I'll see you then, then. Fine, and set your mind at ease, Mr. Randolph. We won't disappoint you. Thank you, sir.
He, he told me to set my mind at ease. Hello, Mitch. Hi, Jack. How you doing? That was Randolph. You still going over there this afternoon? Yes, I hope I won't be disappointed. Oh, you won't be. The scam is working like a charm. You sure they're going to buy your story? They bought my story, hook, line, and sinker. They think I'm setting you up for Uncle Sam. <sighs> what about the yacht? It's a beauty, perfect for a casino. Good. You're going to make a cool bundle on this one, Jack. Well, we're not in this for our health, you know? What kind of an assignment are you talking about? It's the one the feds are on. A bootlegging operation from Canada across the lake to here. Yeah, but these are not penny ante rum runners. These guys are tough. They're organized, experienced, and smart. In other words, one leak, and we lose them. That's why the case is strictly confidential. Okay. Well, well how do we fit in? Though? All right, you're going to be working in close cooperation with the Federal Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms team. Wow, we finally hit the big time. Uh, if the feds are in, uh, why us? Then? They don't want to bring in any more of their own people. It might arouse suspicion. Anyway, it's our jurisdiction. They're going to be using our contacts. They figure if they take the time to make their own, the criminals are going to get tipped off. I don't believe this. We're getting cross-jurisdiction and the collar. This is unbelievable. This is I, great. Wait a minute. Before you start counting your medals, you got some work to do. Now, the two of you, I want you to go down and run a stakeout down at the docks. I want you to meet the next shipment of booze that's coming in. Right? Then I want you to arrest the runners. Where's it coming in? Well, I don't know. That's the problem, which means round-the-clock surveillance. You two have the night shift. Night? Night? Can I just got married. Well, I still like my husband. Why don't you pick on someone who's single or divorced? Hey, you said you wanted action. Now you've got it. He didn't ask for nights. Why us? Because you two are the best I've got, and nights when the action is. He's right. Of course I'm right. I'm always right. Right? All right, now you've got your assignment. Now get. So when do we start? I want you to run down there today and just case the location. The stakeout starts tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Looks like we're going to be seeing a lot of sunrises together, partner. Isn't that romantic? Yeah. Mm. You be careful, Frank. And you keep your head. I intend to. Good. Because one wrong move, and it could get blown right off your shoulders. These guys play for keeps. Remember that. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thanks a lot. Call. Maggie, I thought I'd let her know that tonight will be the last night that we'll spend together for a while. Hello? Hi. Is this my beautiful district attorney? Oh, thanks for the promotion, but it's still assistant district attorney. I just tried to call you. Well, all you have to do is just whistle. Listen, um, what are you doing tonight? Seeing you. Oh, perfect. Um, why don't you meet me at the hayloft then for dinner? Oh, that's wonderful. We can make it a celebration. I just got some good news today. I can tell you all about it at dinner. Oh, good. Um, well, I, I uh, got some news for you, too. Oh, good. Hey, listen, why don't you ask Tom and Margo? I'd just love to see them. Okay, you got it. Um, so I'll see you around uh, 5.30, quarter to 6. It's a date, and I love you. I love you, too. Bye. Hey, Margo, uh, can you and Tom join us for dinner tonight at the Hayloft? 5.30, 6 o'clock? Yeah, that'd be great. That way you can be there when I break the news to him and you can ease the blow. Yeah. Are you going to tell him how dangerous this could be? I don't know. I don't... I don't want him to worry, you know, and I hate to lie to him, I but I don't want him up walking the floor at nights, you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. It's exactly the way I feel about Maggie. But we're in a high-risk profession. That's not news. No. No, it's not. This one, my dear, has to go in the catalog without fail. Huh? I remember this one. Marcy yeah. wore this. She was yeah. gorgeous when she Wasn't modeled it? this the other day. Thank you, Lisa. One definite. One <laughs> definite. Um, Barbara? Hmm? Since I already wore that one, um, 
What do you think if I modeled it in the catalog? I think what? that would be a great idea. You'd just be perfect. She's a natural. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've what? never modeled in front of a camera, though, have you? Well, not a film camera, but I modeled in, um, in front of the video in my acting class. <laughs> Marcy, it's a little different. Oh, I think she'll be just adorable. And who knows, this may be the beginning of a new career. I'll <sighs> think about it. Oh, just don't you worry about her. Just give me a little time with her, okay? Oh. Oh! What? what oh, those visiting hours are going to be over. What? I have to go see Mrs. Simmons to talk to her about who owns that building. Who's Mrs. Simmons? I have to that journal. Oh, um, uh, that woman that Kirk and I found over at the Stratford Arms. Oh, that's right. Is she feeling better? I think she is. <laughs> Do you think it would be okay if I left for just a little early yeah. just to see her in the hospital? I think it would be okay. Oh, thank you so much. You're, oh, so much. you just be sure to give that sweet lady my love. Would you do that? Oh, I okay, wrap up. You know it is so cold out there, Marcy. Wrap up. Bye-bye. Okay. Take it easy now. Thanks again. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Oh, I'm um, right on sure. Me. Where's the fire? <laughs> oh, and do what? Do we owe this wonderful pleasure of your company, my dear? Mm -hmm. Do I need an ulterior motive to come see my own mother? No, you don't, but you usually have one. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, anyway. Hi, Tom. Hi, Barbara. <laughs> it's you. Me? It's you? you you're too definite. He likes it. Thank I you, like Tom. It. Barbara, Barbara. What? Please. What? Congratulate my son. He's going to become a father. <laughs> so what can I do for you? Oh, well, I came by to ask you about a job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, Bet Betsy told me that you talked to her about that. Yeah, I was hoping maybe I could uh, do something for you after school, like a gopher or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Dusty, have you ever worked construction? Uh, no. Okay, then why are you, why are you coming to us? Well, because you were on my mind. Yeah, why? Well, if you hadn't have found me, I probably wouldn't have died. Hey, hey, hey. Look, that is all over with. You don't owe me anything. All right? I'm just glad you're on your feet and, you, and, 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 and you're doing real good, okay? That's the end of it. It's cool. You owe me nothing, all right? Mm -hmm. Told John I was going to get a job. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, then you got a job. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, sure, man. I could use you. I didn't understand. Okay. Great. Um, look, you got a bike, right? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, well, I need a messenger to take a blueprints, contracts from the office out to the job. Okay, sure. And uh, answering the phone at the office has really gotten to be a problem. Betsy never gets to spend any time with Danny. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you need somebody to babysit with Danny, I could do that. No problem. I'd be glad to. Well, maybe I'll take you up on that. Look, okay. take off your coat. Stay a while, all right? <laughs> look, let, uh, let's see now. Have you ever read a blueprint? Ah, uh, no. Okay, all right. Well, look, the more you know, the more use you're going to be to me. So let's start with lesson number one. Okay. All right, this blueprint here is a blueprint we're using on Diana McCall's yacht renovation, okay? Something's not uh, here. What, baby? What? Somebody's been following me. And now, part two of As the World Turns. You said somebody followed you home? Yeah. Here? But it was before that, too. All right. What do you mean before that? At the office. At the office. I kept hearing noises outside the window, and I'd look, and, and there was nobody there. Right, are you sure? Yes, I am sure. And I'm sure that there was a car following me home. I tried to drive fast. I thought I lost them. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Hey, relax. It's okay, it's okay. Now, did you get a look at him? No, I don't know who, I don't know if it was a man or a woman, the, the tinted glass, and I didn't recognize the car. It's really scaring me. Hey, baby, baby, baby. Look, let's take this one step at a time, all right? Okay, now look, it could be your imagination running away with you. Hey, look out the window! There's a man outside the window! What do you want? Hey, what, what, what do you want? I just want to return her hubcap. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I tried to catch her, but she was really moving right along. Oh. oh. Uh, well, look, thank you, thank I'm you. I'm sorry. I, yeah, yeah. I, I tried know. to flag you, but I guess you didn't no, see me. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Look, I appreciate it, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, that is just wonderful. When did you find out that Margot was pregnant? Uh, well, actually, she's not. Uh, false alarm. Oh. oh. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have said anything no, about it. No, no, no. It was my fault. I shouldn't have said anything until we were sure. I, I was just so excited about it. That's oh, fault. Tom, I know how disappointed you are. You wanted a child. Well, so. we'll have a child yet. Yeah, you will. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm okay. Thanks. I'm gonna... I'm... I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Barbara. Oh, I hate to see you so disappointed. No, I just shouldn't have gotten my hopes up so early, that's all. I know. I know. You know something? Of all the people in the whole world who should have a family, it should be you. You'd be such a wonderful father. You really think so? Oh, I know you would. I always wanted a big family. I just picture all these little ankle biters running around the house, you know? What are you talking about? Wow, does Margot feel that? Does she want all these little bodies running around the house, well, too, in her busy good. life? That's the one good thing about this, Mom. It's proven to Margot that she wants kids. Ah, oh, well, then that's the good thing that's come out of it, huh? Maybe so. Yeah. I just hate to see you so sad. I really do. I just feel, deep in my heart, though, that your dreams are going to come true very, very soon. More dresses. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. Oh, look at this. So, Barbara, yeah. how have you been? Oh, not so bad. Not so good either. Oh, darling, this is such a difficult time for you. I'm going to be a lot better as soon as we find out something about Gunner. Well, is Brian still helping you out? Yeah. He's been wonderful. Well, how about any news? Any new information? No, not yet. We've been trying to track Gunner's course after he took off from Australia and... I just haven't heard anything yet. Wow, it's got to be tough on Dusty, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, we haven't even told Dusty yet. What? What? You mean he doesn't know? Well, no, I just didn't think it was the right time to tell him. That kid has been through so much lately, and he's just getting all settled down again. I just didn't think it was the right time. Uh, uh, Barbara, I, I feel that you must tell the child that you're looking for every possible sign of his father. Barbara, I think she's right. You know, Dusty's been through a lot lately. He's proven he's a lot tougher than we may have expected. Well, you're right about that. And don't you think he, he wants to know the truth? You feel uh, rotten. Good idea, though, huh? Got us into school. I don't know how long we are going to be able to stay, though. Sierra. You see her, right? You tell me you see her, right? Sierra Esteban? Ay, yes, es Sierra? She is not the one you seek. No. Where, where's Sierra, Padre? Where's Sierra Esteban? Is she here or is she at the school? Mm -hmm. Padre. It's a travel time to our country. With Jacobo Esteban kidnapping and murder. There's a struggle for power and, and much bloodshed. Only a, a fool or an evil man would come to this country no. now. Which are you? He's neither, Padre. I promise you that. Promise? <laughs> Why should I listen to you? Lies and mistrust are everywhere. Uh, why do you want to find this girl? Hmm? The Estebans have close friends in the United States. And a woman who was a friend of the family sent me down to find her. Were you not afraid? Padre, I agreed to come, and I'm here. I tell you, all I want is Sierra. If we were evil men, wouldn't we be armed? I don't even have a gun. I see. So you are fools. <laughs> yeah, maybe. No. You are not fools. You are something far more rare. You are brave men. Now to your question. Uh, do, do you know Sierra Esteban? Yes, I do. Will you take us to her? I would like to, but I'm afraid it's too late. Well, well, well. 
I guess our own little Al Capone should be here any minute, huh? You just relax, Diana. Uh, relax? How can I relax when we're expecting Bugsy Malone here any second now? Well, you might as well get used to it. You like this, don't you? I mean, you've always liked living outside the law, and what could be better than doing it with the federal government stamp of approval? Well, you might as well make the best of a bad situation, eh? Cal Randolph, hmm? you got me into this, and until we get out, I want you to be every bit as miserable as I am. Miss McCall. Yes. Hello. Oh, you must be Mr. Haskell. That's right. Hello. Um, this is my, my partner, Cal Randolph. Oh, uh, how do you do? I believe we spoke on the phone. I think we did. Miss McCall, I understand you're interested in some gambling tables. Yes. Well, uh, this is a mere formality, but I have to tell you point blank. Uh, is this gambling for profit? Uh, what? Because gambling is illegal in this state. Oh, oh, yes, of course I know that. No, 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 this is strictly uh, for charity. Good, I'll hold you to that. Uh, I could get in a lot of trouble if I rented out my tables for illicit purposes. Oh, well, we certainly wouldn't want that now, would we? Oh, no, we wouldn't. So, uh, where would you like me to set these tables? You have a plan? Yes, oh, I have the plans right here. We yes, we're sir. thinking of doing it in the dining room, which is, is right here. The dining room? Yes, is something wrong? The dining room? Oh, yes. Why? Uh, nothing. I, uh, I just thought it might be something more, more private, maybe uh, below decks. Well, there is another room. It's uh, more private, below deck. Oh, well, it's awfully damp down there. I mean, I can hardly ask the kind of clientele we expect to get here to go down below. Oh, Mr. Haskell, this is our Mater D. Just call me Mitch. Ah, pleased to meet you, Mitch. Pleasure's all mine, sir. Well, I suppose we could put them out in the dining room. Fine. By the way, our fee is only 1% of the house take. Well, uh, fine. That sounds... I've, I've made a list. I have it right here of, of the things that I thought we might need. You can check it and let me know if, if it's right. Um, well, then, I guess we have a deal. No problem. Well, we'll have the tables here by the 14th. And may I say, you're doing a wonderful thing. Uh, uh, what, what do you mean? Well, this charity thing, it's admirable. Oh, well, yes, I, I try to do what I can. Well, I'll be in touch. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye now. Bye now. Case. You better hang it up. Hang what up? Oh, uh, come on, come on. Don't let the bum get to you. I'm not. <laughs> anyway, that's my news. Who's next? I'm next. Oh, good. This is not really news. But I love my wife. Oh. Well, and there's more. I want her to have this as a token of my esteem and appreciation for my briefcase. That's nice. I'm thrilled. Open the briefcase. Uh, beware of briefcases bearing gifts. I love presents. This present is Oh, it's beautiful. Do that again? Oh, it's too mushy, Eric. Thank you so much. Why did you do this? Well, I was at this very fancy dress shop, so I stole it. Oh. I want you to wear it. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yeah, I'm going to take you out on the town. Sky mm -hmm. the limit. Um, I can't do it tomorrow night, Tom. I, I have a date. A date? With Frank. What do you mean? With Frank? Well, that's our news. You see, we, uh, <clears throat> we just got a new assignment. We're on a stakeout. See, Frank and I are on a 24-hour surveillance down at the dock starting tomorrow. And by the way, anything that we tell you about this case can't leave this table, you got it? Is it a big case? A very big case. Well, the feds are in on it, and we're working with them. Isn't that great, honey? Well, I'm great. Well, Frank, you should be really happy. I mean, you haven't had anything really big since you left New York. Oh, I just 
sorry, but it's got to be at night. Uh, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you, too. Look, you've made a lot of sacrifices for my career. I guess it's my turn. I knew you'd understand. I don't suppose it's dangerous. Sure. I mean, well, all police work is has some element of danger to it, right? Wrong. Right? Will you two excuse us for a minute? Can sleep through that racket, guys. But I thought you might be hungry. That's terrific. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dinner's up soon? Yeah, pretty soon. Want to stay, Dusty? Good, good. good. Are you guys in mind? No. No, 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 we want you to. Come on. Okay, Okay, I will. Thank you. That'd be great. Yeah. Hello? Yes, he is. It's a matter of... Sure, 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 Barbara. Uh, Dusty, it's it's for you. It's Barbara. Okay. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry I'm bothering you over there. Oh, no, that's okay. What's up? Well, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Would you mind bopping over to Fashions? Right now? Yeah, do you mind? No, that's okay. No problem. I'll be right there, okay? Great, thanks. Okay, bye. Uh, you guys, I'm sorry. It looks like I'm not going to be able to stay. Was there a problem? I don't know. She said there's something she had to discuss with me. Okay. All right. Look, uh, I'll walk you out your bike. All right. Okay. We come again. All right. Thank you. All right. Keep warm. It's cold out there. Honey, could you get the mail when you come back in, please? The mail, the garbage, never stops. No, no. <laughs> you're gonna have to pay me this time oh, first. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> now I'll get the mail. Oh, you drive a hard bargain, sir. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, your coat, your coat, your coat. No, I'm just oh. getting the mail. I tell Crazy you, they outside. never stop. They Winter, never stop. All right, all right, all right. Bye, Dustin. Whoa. <laughs> I think she was right. Well, Steve, uh, thanks for the job. I hope it works out. It's yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, well, thank you. It's good, it's good right, to be good to have you around, man. Okay. He's a good kid, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I like him. Where's your scarf? Uh, <laughs> Never mind, I'll uh, go get it. <laughs> and uh, watch this, see? See this? This is a coat. Watch, all right, watch all the right, girl. all Put right, the coat on. all right. Go I was out, out there for 10 seconds. Yeah. Somebody out here? I saw there was this. I was just stepped on it when I dropped it. There was somebody out there. Baby, the 
You sure couldn't have been an animal? No, it in the was not an woods, animal. Right? An animal would have run away when I came out there. It was right. bigger than an animal, and I, I felt it watching me. I could feel all right, it. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I think maybe you're just a little jumpy here, huh? I'm from that guy following. No, it was uh -huh. more than that. What about the noises at the office I heard today, huh? Well, there could have been some kids messing around. I don't no. think so. <sighs> all right, all right, okay, all right. Well, whatever it was, is gone and I'm here. I can't help it. I'm scared. Do you know what you need? You need the same thing I need. You need a little dinner, and you need to relax. <laughs> and I'm going to do the serving tonight, all right? back to see if you made up your mind yet about what um about me modeling for the catalog oh honey, you said I haven't to think about I it. know but I haven't thought about it at all I've, my mind's been on a million other things today oh okay um maybe we'll talk about it tomorrow I think it's a good idea okay okay bye 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 Marcy I'm sorry I'm sorry, of course, of course you can model. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Are you sure? I'm absolutely, positively sure. Oh, thank you so much. You won't regret it, really, really. Oh, okay, okay. In fact, I... Just one or two. One or two. Oh, oh that's okay. Mm -hmm. right. There's some things I already picked out in the back. If you want to go look in the back room, you can go browse and pick oh, out what great. you want. Oh, great. I love them all. But okay. I'll only take one. All right. Or two. Or two. <laughs> Hi, hi. Get in here. Hi, yeah. Woo, thanks for coming right no over. No problem. Check this out. Looks like I have a job with Steve's Construction Company after school. <laughs> oh, that's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah. It's just that, um, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. So, sit down. I, uh, I don't even know how to tell you this, but... I think you have a right to know. You know what? Dusty, for the past several weeks, Brian McCall and I have been trying to find Gunner. Find him? Is he alive, Barbara? Did you find something oh, out no, about wait, him being no, alive? No, wait, no, wait. No, just calm down. No, we don't know that he's alive. It's, it's just that when he left, he was in remission, and there's just a possibility he may have survived. So, Barbara, you think he's alive, but you didn't tell me. Dusty, I'm sorry. It's just that we didn't find him. Mm -hmm. He's never been yeah. found. You're out trying to find my father, but you don't tell me about it. Dustin, I did not want to upset mm -hmm. you. We you don't didn't tell me, Barbara. Sure you think he's anything. alive. You're out looking for him, and don't tell me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, too, Barbara. I'm sorry, too. I gotta go. I'll see you. Wait a minute. Dustin! I wonder if he's telling the truth, Edmund. I wonder if we're too late for Sarah. Maybe she's dead. Senores, it's supper time. Would you join us? We'd be honored to, yes. This is my sister Maria. And these are the children of the mission. Hola. Hello. All these children, that they, all, they all go to school here. Uh, and live here. There were many more, but uh, their parents took them away when the fight started. Niños, niños, oiga. Estos señores son amigos de Sierra. Ya, 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 basta, basta, vamos, vamos, sentarse, ya. 
Stay behind the light. You see how beloved Sierra is. Is? You, you know she's alive? Yes, she is alive. <laughs> now, we will suffer. I uh, apologize, there's no more, but supplies are not easy to get. Oh, oh please, Father, we are very grateful. <laughs> oh, oh, now, we'll pray. Vamos a rezar. Señor, te agradecemos por esta comida. Amén. Amén. Padre, please, where's Sierra? She left us several days ago. We tried to stop her, but she's stubborn. It's in her blood. Makes her feel good. Where did she go? To the city. She wanted to find out if the reports of her father's death were true. Padre, the, uh, the city, it's the center of the fighting right now, you know? Yes. And we haven't heard from her since. We fear for her life. Sorry, I was going to tell you. I just, I didn't, didn't want to Hold on, to hold. Shoot. Hold on to your horses. I'm going to surprise you. I understand. You do? Yeah. This is important to you, and you're excited about it, and I'm not going to ruin it. Yeah, but Tom, do you know what this means? It means it's not time to start a family yet, so no. Do you mind? Yes, I mind. I mind a lot. But you got to get this out of your system. We'll have kids later. Okay. I don't need a love. I love you, too. And I'm worried about you. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about you. Bootleggers are notoriously cowards. You know, they really are. And besides, the drunk always, you know, sampling the product. I'll be fine. You know what I'd like to do? What? Since tonight is our last night alone for a while, I'd like to spend it with you and only you. without you are going to be so lonely. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to cope. Listen, I got an idea. What? Since it's our last night together, why don't we split and go home? You know, when you get an idea, you get a good one. <laughs> oh, Frank, when am I going to see you after tonight? I guess we'll have to settle for lunch breaks. <laughs> Frank. Bye-bye. You did a great job. Oh, I was just so glad you were here, Mitch. I kept thinking if anything went wrong, at least you could arrest him. No, you didn't need me. You handled it like a pro. Oh, you couldn't tell I was shaking? Not a bit. Oh, you know, I've never been so scared in my entire life. I kept thinking that he would, any second now, with all the questions he was asking, he was going to be able to tell it was a setup. No, no, you were perfect. I'll be back. Okay. Diana, you were as cool as a cucumber. I'm proud of you. I don't need any encouragement from you, Mr. Randolph. You can just keep your compliments to yourself. What's, what's the matter with you? Look, we may have to pretend we like each other in front of these mobsters that you have gotten us involved with, but that is all it is, a pretense. Do you understand? I'm going to say it one more time. I'm sorry. Well, you can just stuff it. I don't need any of your cheap apologies. From now on, between you and me, it's war. All right. Bye, Ralph. <clears throat> oh, someday I will wear dresses like this. I will hang out with the likes of you, Lord Cushing. <laughs> oh, mercy. How could you see you again? Oh, how do you do, Lord Cushing? <laughs> no. How do you do, Lord Cushing? <laughs> well, will you be somewhere on the Riviera again? Some 
blanket. It gets cold in the mountains at night. Thank you. You've been uh, very kind to us. I wish I could have helped you more. Don't worry, Padre. We'll find her, okay? I pray you to. Padre, can you, can you tell me anything about her family or father? Well, he was um, a wealthy landowner, many possessions, much influence. What was he like? Oh, that's harder. He was very complicated, powerful, a man of passion. He loved his family, his daughter too. How long was she here? Oh, she was here since she was a young girl. She spent most of her life with us. What, what is she like? She is as bright as she is beautiful. Very stubborn, but tempered, with a kindness for those who need her. And she has a gift for, for taking care of a wounded mind or a wooden body. A nurse? Just so. <laughs> My mom is a nurse. Oh. Padre, uh, excuse me for asking this. Um, you said that Jacobo Esteban was a very powerful, wealthy man. But your uh, mission here is humble, oh. it's poor. Yeah, why did he send his daughter here? <laughs> Thank you, yes. <laughs> because I think that uh, this is a humble school, but he knew that she would be loved here, and that someday she would become a young woman, and he would be proud to call his flesh and blood. <laughs> the lines are down, I can't get through to the city. Craig, there's nothing else we can do to track Sarah tonight. All right, all right, we leave, we leave first thing in the morning for the city. Uh, Padre, I, I need somebody, anybody. Do you know anyone in the city? Uh, anybody in the city who can help us? Well, I, I know one is uh, an old man. Uh, his name is uh, Artemio Paz. Paz, uh, do you know how we can find him? Well, I don't know. He, he may be dead. He, he may be hiding. But be careful, my friend. Now it is known that you seek his daughter, and his enemies will follow you, and they wish her dead too. Be careful, my friends. Be careful. Be very careful. Capital, next on most of these CBS stations. Fashions by J.A. Higgins. Furs by Christie Brothers.